Alright, hello and welcome back. In the last episode, in case you missed it, we traveled to planet Kronos, finished all the missions, and we took out Shellshock in a splendid battle. We also did get charge boots. Let me see if I remember how to activate them. Okay, I don't remember how to... Okay, there we go. We got charge boots, so we're not going to be running around like punks the entire time. Uh, as far as that, I think that's pretty much it. So let's move forward. We do have a couple of missions to finish in Planet Kronos, which we didn't get to in the last episode, so that's where we're going to start. Doo -doo. A night fire. There's pilot the hover ship and destroy all heavy turrets as fast as you can. Oh, let's do it. Change planets? Of course. All right, and while we're blasting off, as always, if you do like the videos, uh, do consider hitting that like and subscribe channel. <laughs> like and subscribe. It's a great way to grow the channel and help us reach our goal of 50 subscribers. And unless people relive the chaos, that is Ratchet and Clank. Or Ratchet Deadlock this time. Hover ship controls. Okay. Lock target. Fire missile release. Okay. I think I got it. Alright, where are these heavy turrets at? Chunky boys, those guys can take a hell of a beating. Is it reaching? Not even close. Oh, I can hold it. Okay. That's actually really useful. I gotta say, I like the controls for the hover, hover ship a lot more in this game than I did in the previous installment. Ooh. Let's go. Come on. Run, tiny legs. Well, fly. Moderately sized wings. I don't know where I was going with that. Where? Okay. I don't know what's shooting me, but it hurts a lot. Ooh, love that. Alright, come on. Turn. Ascend. Ascend, I say. Oh, my. Those air defense systems are no joke. But neither am I. Six skill points, really? Shocking. <laughs> Twenty-six kills. Avenger tournament. I don't know if that's just a skin, which I forgot that we have different skins in this game. I believe. So we're gonna also check that out when we are walking. All right. Let's see. Throughout this battle, force fields will uh, close in and eventually crush you. That is, unless you combat drones, bots can hack the force field control orbs. Let's do it. Ratchet, keep hacking the security orbs, or the arena walls will collapse on top of you. And watch your back. Dreadzone will send wave after wave of enemies in your direction. That is such a cool thing right there. Dude, get in there. I keep telling them to hack, but they're not hacking for some reason. Come on. There we go. Hack! Hack, I say! Oh, guys, you chose a horrible spot to be in. Too slow. Oh boy. Come on. Oh, whoa, I got the level up, which is terrific. 
what's not terrific is my impeding death. Good. Come on, blow up. Man, I got the level up. Nice. Twenty five kills, really? In that short distance? Short amount of time? I said distance. Short amount of time, that's unexpected. Alright, and we have one more. Dark City Arenas. Fight for your life in these exciting arena challenges. Of course we are. Let's go. The arena challenge brings us back to the days of classic arena combat. An old fashioned arena death match. Just like <laughs> mom used to make. What? I don't recall my mother ever doing that, but I guess everyone has different childhoods. It's okay to speak about your trauma nowadays, guys. It's how you grow as a person. Or you can shoot, dude. Which I don't recommend. A robot, I mean, of course. Bro, I have a sniper rifle that shoots some amazing beams of energy. You can't take me. Like skeet shooting the way these things popping up. Come on. Ooh. Ha, I got him as he was falling. Nice. Love the impact mile on this bad boy. A little turn has a uh, quite a punch on it. Come on, bad boys! Oh, I ran out of ammo. Ooh, perfect pickup. Um, well, let's put out the dual vipers. I haven't used them in a while. And I got the collateral. Two for the price of one, baby. And more importantly, I got that nanotech upgrade because I desperately needed that. A thousand bolts. And two thousand drift points, which I'm assuming will be enough to unlock the next area. All right, I already unlocked it. Silly. All right, so the Avenger Tournament. This is the power, the Tower of Power, folks. Dread Zones Arena and technicians must have been insane when they designed this course. Gladiators will make their way up the treacherous tower while fighting off multitudes of vile and dangerous foes. They will be fighting for a chance to compete in the next Dread Zone Planetary Battle Course and a real prize to become Dread Zone Champion. Let's do it. Blasting off at the speed of light. Clank, did you see me out there against that shell shot guy? Yeah, I saw. Ah, yeah. You worry me, Ratchet. <laughs> Come on, Clank. Can I just enjoy the moment? Do you realize how many other heroes they have killed? Here. Watch this. And now for a Vox News action update. The new season of Dread Zone is underway and on pace to break ratings records once again. This year's mm. contestants include the notorious mafia crime boss known as Ratchet, seen <coughs> here at his Mokhtar estate. And to think that other networks actually call him a hero. It's truly sad, Dallas. 
Other notable contestants include Ratchet's ruthless robotic accomplice, Clank. Oh, I never did like the look of him, Juanita. I'm just glad he's off the streets, Dallas. And lucky for us, the Vox All-Star Exterminator crew is headed once again by five-time grand champion Ace Hardlight. Last season, Ace shot the galaxy by terminating a record 13 contestants, including Captain Starshield, the Brown Ranger, and Mad Monkey McKnight. Dreadzone's six trillion fans are in for some unbelievable action over the coming weeks. They certainly are, Dallas. Yeah, I remember hearing about Ace Hardlight when I was a kid. He was this famous hero who disappeared. That must have been someone else. Why would a hero kill other heroes for money? Not money, Tin Man. Fun. I do not understand. <laughs> <laughs> you traitor! Do you think this is some kind of game? That's exactly what it is, Furball. And you're going to be the star of my highlight reel. <laughs> I'll see you soon, Lombax. Screw you, hey, bro. Ratchet, I know you're busy with the fighting and the jumping and the hurting, but I have a new bot upgrade for you. Ooh, this is what I've been waiting for. This is why I haven't bought anything. Also, there hasn't been anything that good. Let's see. <laughs> Buy one, get one. Named after the sound the weapon makes when fired inside a crowded test laboratory. <laughs> okay. The vocals once deprived the Marcus Maraxis Air Patrol. Cool government took these. Our ships mounted grenade launchers and refitted them for personal use. Combat bots can hover in the distance and lob their payload to unsuspecting enemies. Interesting. What else do we have? Ah, uh, this is just a uh, cosmetic change. Okay. Honestly, the original skin and like components just look better. Oh, okay. Here's another one. This is the first of four devices used to increase your combat bot's armor and damage capabilities. Go Comet reuses, refuses to commit on the details, but warns that using these devices on household electronics could be dangerous. Uh, we're buying both. Yes. And also yes. And... You know what? Screw it. Let's try and make our guys unique. Hmm... Eh, let's go with the gold star. Make it pop. Let me see. Okay, so it stops after a set time. The boots, of course, that I'm referring to. Alright, let's jump into it. Um, wait. Advanced qualifier. Dread challenges. Strange. It's all or nothing in this round. Either every enemy falls in 90 seconds or Dread Zone starts looking for new gladiators. Ooh. Let's do it. Screw it. Oh, wait. Chain challenge. I'm confused. That's great. Let's do it. <laughs> it looks exactly like Annihilation Nation. Awesome. If he can survive this grueling series of challenges, mm. he will earn the rank of Avenger. Get ready for the speed round. Oh, the humanity. All right, do I have... There's 60 enemies overall. Land. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Come on, where are you guys? And we got a new level up too. Level 5. I don't know what's the last level for these weapons. I guess it goes up higher than 5. And I got a skill point. Can't touch this. Nice.
Pretty straightforward. Fly to Battle Dome. Load up on ammo. The arbitrary fires velocity. That's a word. Piercing rockets. Ooh, the rockets. Darn, and I just spent all that money. Ooh, and a wrench upgrade. Offers an increased striking power at a very reasonable price. This model gets its name from its lightweight core, which is made of a threaded helix of graphite, titanium, and <laughs> Tundorian yellow hair. Okay. Um, the wrench upgrade is probably going to be one of the last things we purchase because, honestly, I don't see the point of it. I barely use my uh, clank. My clank. My freaking uh, ratchet as of is. A tower of power. Most gladiators run away crying if you don't even mention. If you even mention the name, the one that the ones that don't fight to prove their worth worthiness in this dread zone arena battle. Wow. The <laughs> the speed of the text is uh, messing me up a little bit. But I got it. I got through it. That's what matters. Folks, the Battle Dome is shaking with excitement. Get ready to watch Team Darkstar fight for survival as they make their way to the Tower of Power. The Tower of Power. I don't actually know if you have to destroy those dropships. I just kind of do for fun. Okay, it's a multi-stage arena, which, now that I'm saying it out loud, doesn't really make any sense, run, but, okay. Run. <laughs> oh! Those reflexes were semi-cut-like. Cool. Cool. Get out of here, boy. Get out of here. Ooh. Jumped out of the way in the last possible second. Ooh, and we got a level. Nice. Damn, this thing is hitting the thousands? And I got two extra rounds as well. Perfect. I keep running out of this goddamn ammo. And I have enough of the rocket launcher. Oh, what is going on here? Like a pro. Alright, this gun makes it kind of easy mode right now. <laughs> I'm loving it. I, I kind of don't need to do the double jump. I just... It makes me feel safe doing it. I'm sure a lot of gamers feel the same way. Right there. Completely not required, and if anything, made the jump more difficult. Let's switch things up a little bit. No, <laughs> wrong gun. There you go. The napalm really sticks to him. Six thousand bolts. Oh, I thought that was the end of it. Guess not. To the top of the terribly tubular tower of power. It's a bit worthy, dude. You might want to get somebody on that. Ooh, like a champ. Oh, what? How is that fair? All right.
Oh, uh, that's not good. Ooh, I made it. Almost perfect. Oh, you got to be killing me. Okay, so green is safe. Got it. Come on. Ooh. <laughs> oh, boy. Got a little nervous there. But we made it. That's all that matters. Go away, weird looking creatures. There we go. I'm gonna have to take that hit. Oh, that's that's actually not that bad. Okay. <laughs> uh, you. Mm, that's that's not as good. That's not as good. Okay. All right, we're gonna wait until it flips. All right, now we're going. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. And one more time. There we go. Now give me that health. A Leviathan, really? <laughs> Couldn't even get them out. Hilarious. Come on. Guys, you can't defeat me. I am too good. Right, I keep meaning to change my costume. My skin. I'm gonna do it in the next one, I promise. Sha'ar Sha has unlocked for us. And Orcs on. Nice. We now have a new Avenger! After making his fortune selling cigarettes to children, Ratchet went on to pilot a tanker ship for Zexon. A Hold week a minute. later, Ratchet got drunk and crashed his tanker into the ocean world of Equados. Who can forget these graphic images of baby seers smothered in radioactive waste? Ah! Little Coco never had a chance. How could you? What did little Coco ever do to you? Wh what? Al, how can you believe these ridiculous lies? Uh, no. I was just, uh... Uh, you know, I mean... Come uh, on, guys. We need to get out of here before we all wind up dead. What's the plan? I have been chatting with a tech droid on the operations level. She may be able to provide the blueprints for these deadlock collars. That's great! But we must be very careful. Fox has eyes everywhere. Fox has eyes everywhere. Can try not to mix the motor control engines with the... Shut up, Al. Nothing else here. Alright, let's buy our rocket launcher. Max out ammo. Wrench upgrade and wait. Ooh, look at this bad boy. Yes, give it to me with the quickness. Alright, I can't select weapons here. Chet, I've seen assorted cheeses more dangerous than your combat bots. Bring them back to my shop and I'll give them some upgrades. There is no way that you have upgrades after I just came from you. Okay, you don't. Unless I have to talk to you? No, okay. So you just lied to me. Cool. I want to see what other missions are on the Wannabe Annihilation Nation. Let me see if I can knock them out in this episode. If not, we'll save them for the next one. Avenger Tournament. So we have two Dread Challenges. This is the beginning. Oh, hold on. This is the standard weed out re regime uh, for beginning gladiators. Footage from the challenge ends up on blooper reels during the prestigious 2 a.m. time slot. Um, 
I'm not sure what they mean by that. Oh, there's a lot. Of, there's four dread challenges. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. We're gonna take at least one on. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, let's make some noise. It's time to kill or be killed in the Annihilator round. Gretchen must survive under relentless attack from wave after wave of lethal enemies. Wow, this thing is uh quite strong. And terrible ammunition. Hold R2 and triangle. Oh, okay. <laughs> Weird. It's telling me that just lay in the game, but okay. Guys, I have a shotgun and I'm not afraid to use it. But I am running low on ammo. That was a pretty quick one. Let's see, we have one more. The very air turns against our contender. In this, our most requested battle, our triple patent in Dread Zone Sleeper Gas will slowly drain Ratchet as his health, as he fights can team. Okay, what? <laughs> can team dark star there we go can deep can team dark star take down an entire robot platoon before the toxic fumes turn their lights out for good yes we can let's do it after this we're gonna end it it's time to get silent but deadly oh, <laughs> open a window don't get excited, Juanita. I'm talking about the gas round, where Ratchet must defeat all the enemies before the toxic fumes snuff him out. Oh, baby, I love that smell. This dude has some serious issues, man. I guess we were supposed to do this earlier in the game because we are absolutely mincing these guys, man. Just murdering them left, right, and center. Come on, where are the other guys at? Oh, what? Ah, I was about to go perfect. That dude just popped up in front of me. That was extremely easy. I found that to be quite successful. I think I probably should have done this earlier on. I don't know if it was available. It might have been. I didn't explore the home base as much as I should. And we still have two more that we're going to save for the next episode because I think they might be just a bit more return to the containment suite, yes. They might be a bit more challenging. And it might take just a wee bit longer in this episode. It's rather going on the 30 minute mark. Alright, so we are going to end it here. As always, if you do like the videos, do consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Great way to support me. Great way to support the channel. And it gets us closer to our goal of 50 subscribers. And I will see you next time.